All right, what's happening, man? So today I want to talk about a fragrance that I am going to say is criminally underrated. I've scrolled through YouTube a little bit, and I literally can't find anybody talking about this stuff. I think I've talked about it briefly in like a list video, but there's like no reviews on this. Literally none. It's one of the, in my opinion, arguably one of the best budget-friendly fragrances out there. This is like an ultra cheapy, dude. You can get this for literally 17 bucks and some change off of FragranceNet. 17 bucks for this Perialis portfolio. Came out in 2000. Incredible stuff. We're going to talk about that today. But before we do, as always, if you haven't done so already, subscribe and ring the bell. My God, how many times you got to be told? So yeah, like I said, came out in the year 2000. Very good stuff. Aromatic, um, lavender fragrance, maybe a little soapy, some people would call it. Presentation-wise, relatively heavy bottle. Smooth, like a flat silver finish. Nothing really on the bottle, except for that little Perry Ellis logo there. Kind of bumps out. I like that. Sticker on bottom with some info that you don't give a shit about, and neither do I. Cap is lightweight plastic, but it is relatively rigid, so you, you know it feels somewhat tough. Cap is just black, simple, white dot. Distribution on the sprayer is okay. What do you want for 17 bucks? Oh, that's nice. Now, the oh, what my eye? God damn it. Now, the sprayer is a little bit like misty. I wish it was more of a point, but whatever. Quit bitching. It's 17 bucks, dude. You get enough of it on you, and nobody gives a shit about the distribution on the sprayer. So, <clears throat> I'm going to choke to death. I breathe that in. As far as the notes go, now, there's not massive notes, and I'm not going to really get into the notes because what this is is maybe a handful of notes. It is beautiful, sexy, sweet pear with lavender. Lavender is probably the star of the show. Then you have some amber, some musk, and a little bit of subtle woodiness. Now, there is, I think, coriander in the top as well. So I do get a subtle, subtle... I do have the dry down here. As I'm talking about it, I should probably smell it. I do get a subtle, subtle spice that doesn't really go away, but it just taper down. This stuff's incredible, man. It's not a very changing fragrance. So I guess that would be like linear, as they say. Um, it's more powerful in the beginning, but as it dries down and balances out a little more, it just becomes this super sexy, well-rounded, pretty safe fragrance that, man, I don't think anyone's going to dislike this. So yeah, like I said, beautiful sweet pear with lavender. What a good combination. It does so nice together. Then you have this amber, this musk, and this, I want to say sandalwood, a little bit of woodiness. It's so beautiful. Dude, you got to check this stuff out. Like I said, criminally underrated, performs very well off of my skin. I'm getting six to eight hours. If you put it on your clothes, forget about it. It's never going away. Very good stuff. Very powerful, and like I said, very underrated. I'm actually frustrated that more people don't talk about this. A lot of people could benefit from this stuff. You don't have to spend a lot of money. You're going to smell incredible. Gets a lot of compliments. Some people would say it's more of a warm weather fragrance. Whatever. I like this in the cooler weather too. I wear this year round. In fact, most of my compliments on this fragrance have come from colder weather, so take that for what it is. Like I said, not a very long video. It's kind of like your wiener, short. Just wanted to talk about it briefly because nobody really has. If you see it in your uh, rack stores, grab it. It's going to be around 20 bucks, most likely. Maybe not with the way inflation is now, but it's well worth it. If I had to pay 30 bucks, I'm not complaining. This stuff smells incredible, performs incredible. What do you want, man? You know what? That's it, and that's all. I'm done rambling because audience retention is a bitch. Like the video if you haven't done so already. It would be doing me a favor. Let's YouTube know that the channel's worth watching. If you don't like it, hey, don't like it. I don't blame you. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I said it once before, but I'll say it again. Don't know why you haven't subscribed. Until next time, guys, God bless. Be well. Take your vitamins and hit the gym, too. Do the work. No one's going to do it for you. Whatever other motivational stuff you want to insert here, I'm out.